Good afternoon, dear Boris. A good evening, wonderful and for us here, Jesus. I greet you on this Wednesday um, afternoon, and I think about on a Wednesday that we would be preparing our hearts. I, I don't know about you, but I always do in the afternoon. I prepare my heart to the fact that I'm going to be going to the church for a Wednesday, but eat that I'm going to get together with a beloved, met the dear Boris, my geliefde, so we can saam kniel, saam bid, saam die, die woord hoor en saam die Heere prijs. And um, it's just as I think of that time and I get my heart on God and on the word that um, the Lord's been speaking to me a little while about uh, and led me to two scriptures in the book of Psalms. So ek wil net kortliks, wil nie lang praat nie, keier om die woord, twee skrifte uh, gedeeltes in die boek van Psalms en ook een liekie. I'd like to speak to you about a song see, it's um, that when I preach, I've discovered that sometimes it's, it's, it's one thing to preach something, but it becomes a different story when you begin to, to um, have to live what you've preached. Pastor Dani has mentioned it, I've mentioned it, there's many, many times that we've preached, and then in that week, ek sal getoets word op wat ek gepreek het. And I believe it's the same with us, we can say something, but we will always be tested on what we've said, want... Die Heere soek, soek nie die, die prijs van die lippe, maar van die hart, en die wat hom gaan dien, gaan hom dien in gees en in waarheid, nie in lippe taal nie. And um, I said, we serve God because He is God, and we don't serve Him because He's good to us. Now God is good to us, but we don't serve Him for His blessings, and we don't serve Him because things go good. We serve Him because He's God. And you know, I started to think about that song, it says, I have decided to follow Jesus. The cross before me, the world behind me. You take this whole world, but give me Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. And that decided to follow Jesus was sung by a man who was threatened with death. They told him, if you don't deny this Jesus that you've accepted, we're going to kill your whole family. He saw his family murdered. And on his way to be executed, he was singing the cross before me. The world behind me and that's where the song comes from a man that was going to die for jesus and a lot of the times i think we think serving god everything must go right with us and everything must go smoothly with us and if there's any christian any child of god any person in the world for that matter who has never had a problem and nothing's gone wrong in their life and everything has been perfect ek wil, ek wil redig jou hand kom skit want Ek, ek weet nie wie jy is nie, da, ons, 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 ons kom op een plek waar per ty keer daar is moeilijkheid en, en per ty keer voel het, voel het hard en ons, ons kan nie dinge verstaan nie. But I want to remind us, we serve God because He is God. The God that we serve is the God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and there is no other God before Him. There's nobody else that we must serve but the one who sent His only begotten Son, Jesus, to die for us. Now, if you think that people in the Bible didn't have difficulties, then I'd like to tell you again, it's people go through difficulties. Even children of God go through difficulties and go through tough times. I'd like to read to you out of the Bible, the book of Psalms, Psalms chapter 13. Listen to what David says. If you're feeling like you, you, you're strange now that you're a child of God, but you have difficulties, listen to what David says in the Psalm. David says in Psalms 13, How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long will my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Lord my God. Listen to his request now. Enlighten, in other words, make my eyes bright again with hope and joy. Enlighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest my enemy says, I have prevailed against him. Lest those who trouble me rejoice when I am moved. But listen to David. He says, but I have trusted in your mercy. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully. In other words, he's dealt more than enough. He's given me more than I need. He's dealt bountifully with me. There's something nice about David. Even when David has a complaint, he'll complain. But after his complaint, he'll always end with, but I have trusted in the Lord. But I want to start with that first bit. Listen to what David says. This is a man after God's own heart. I don't want you to feel like you're strange now because you have difficulties. Listen to what David sounds like. He says, how long, O Lord? 
Will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? And how long shall I take counsel in my soul? Listen to him. He's in difficulties. Having sorrow in my heart daily. How long will my enemies be exalted over me? But then he ends it with, I have trusted in your mercy. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt well with me. Amen. So even in his difficulties, at the end he says, but I have trusted you. And even in these difficulties that I'm facing now, I will continue to trust you because you are my God. And then the Lord has personally to lift me up in my heart and in my spirit has sent me to the scripture. And from my heart, I would like to share it with you so that what God has given me, maybe it can encourage you as well. Psalms 121. We know it, but let's read it again. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From when comes my help? Listen. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the noon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. The God that we serve is a God that we know is with us in difficulties. We don't look to the mountains. We don't look to the world. But we look to the maker of heaven and earth who says he will protect us and look after us. He will keep us from all evil. He'll bless us and look after us in our going in and in our going out. But understand, we all face difficulties. We all go through moments when we say to ourselves and the Lord, How long, Lord? How long will you forget me? How long, Lord, must I go through difficulties? How long must I sickle like this, Lord? But remember how David ends it. But, David says, but, but I have put my faith And my trust in you. And then we read Psalms 121. That he's the one that made heaven and earth. That protects us. That covers us. That we don't have sun by day or moon by night. Or any evil come near us. But that we are protected in him, by him, through him and for him. The Yeresian save word, Annie.